all right guys so you wanted to know how lamborghini works right a motor yeah <laughs> All right, so let's see because we this. Don't know. We yeah. don't know if there's a motor or not. Yeah, I mean, let, let's see because this one is quite different than regular um, RC, like you know, remote control car. So this one is like when you when you push it back, it right? Then it goes like really fast. I mean, I can. I can let and me show you. you push it down. Yeah. It makes a noise. Oh wow! And like so. so there's definitely there's a battery. Plus, yeah. if you open the doors. Yeah. Makes two different sounds and then. This one oh nice car alarm. yeah all right so let's open it up and see what's inside all right who's gonna open it me all right go ahead wait where's the screw where's the this screw? and this oh uh, and screws. also this no that's for no. battery oh that screw's too big that screw's too big wait all right let's let's oh, let, let me let me try let me try let me uh try first and then you can you can do the rest okay One for uh, looks like there's some sort of battery right there. Uh, it's opened. All right, let's open it up. What's in there? Battery. Let me see. Oh, this is the tiny one. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's flip it over. Oh, the battery. It's okay. It came out. How many there are? Four. Three. Four. Yeah, four. Four. Okay. Let's put it back in. Right, two and two. It. They won't work the top now. Is there enough to push it or? Yep. So we took work. the battery out. Two batteries are out, so it won't work. Here. Time for the inmates. Ooh. One. Nope. No motor. How do you know? Oh, that I don't know how. So there is something there. Motor, right? Is um, there motor? But I don't see any. Look, look. I don't see any connection. All right. Wait, okay. I don't did you see... know the red light is actually this? So over here, mm -hmm. that's the red light. Oh. Inside the real cards, mm -hmm. that's what makes this light up. Okay, but see there's no, I don't see any connection. Let, let me see, let me see. I don't see any connection to this white thing. I mean, if there's a white thing was motor, right? Mm -hmm. Then there gotta be some electric. I don't see. All right, so what do you think? What? this circuit is for mm, i don't know running the um noise and stuff i also oh, yeah. know what this is for what is for that for? the um lighting over here oh the front like one the, um, what is this one for one in the mm -hmm. back this one for yeah that was probably inside there's, there was light inside. there's a light inside I, I can't remember okay i can all right so let's oh let's i know what the light was for oh you know what is this what is this um, on the sound maker yeah exactly so there's a small speaker right underneath you see it oh i see it a white right part. we'll open up that oh, yeah. all right so first of all there's no motor so we need to figure out you know when you are how like kind of pushing in a back how it's going forward right see right there there's no motor connected right now there's no battery it's still spinning so we gotta figure out what's this what is this mechanism all right so let me open that up so we see the speaker right there is it? And the magnet. What's the M for? I don't know. That's just a symbol. All right. So let's focus on this first. Right? This part. All right. Is there any way we can take it out? I think mm. there is. Should be. Wait. I think I could. All right. So I, I probably have to okay. use this screwdriver. All right. Let me let me try that. Cover. Mm. Right. And now we can see yeah. that it's literally attached. Can you hold on that? It's attached to the um, wheels in the back. I use both hands and see if you can just pop it open. Yep. There you go. So here's the whole mechanism. So the car is separate and this is separate. So we'll see. All Wait, right. I know why it's attached. 
that. See? So because these wheels only move, the back wheels are only exactly. moving. Exactly, the front the is front not moving. The wheels don't have one of these. Do you know so that's a really good wheel. concept uh, in a car too? Car, not every single car are four wheel drive. You know, only the back one and sometimes the front one, that's only the one the pushing and everything else is just what rolling with it. What if we actually take these wires out, what will happen? But we'll see afterward. Let's let's focus the on this first. So why this is moving? Whoops. All right. We might be able to put it into a bigger speaker. All right. Can we open this now? Furthermore? No. No. Yeah. Why not? Wait, you want to see what's inside, the, right? Um, we also have um like screws in it. Bit further to take it in part. All right. So see, there are tiny tiny parts. Yeah. All right. Oh, so God. it starts from really tiny to bigger one and then this is the biggest one and that right? makes the That's, wheels move along no there's something else inside something else we're missing all we right managed to open that part also all right uh, we got some of it opened we could open that part Oh, that's the hardest one. Right, I'm going to start removing one after another. Alright, All right, what's inside? Alright, so we were able to see what's inside. So there's a metal plate. You see it? Right here. So what he was doing, oops, I'll show you again. All right. So this wheel was right in between, and uh, it's hard to put it back. Okay. So what he was doing is this is the normal condition, and when you're pulling back, he was he was kind of getting stretched, right? There's like so many times he, uh, you know the metal plate is. Uh, inside yeah. right so every time you do this it was getting stressed there's a lot of stress and when you leave it it goes like in trying to get into its own um, um, point back right all right so let's try to take it out let's see what's in how big is it Ooh, oh god, god. see this cool. so they put this big plate into this tiny space on top of that you are putting like when you push it back like you know the whole car it was winding up like this it was going really 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 uh like this right and then when you um let it go it um, on, um release the stress yes yeah. exactly so see this okay i'm gonna keep doing keep doing keep doing right and when you let it go see it's trying to get it like back into its original condition so this is the whole mechanism to see how it works, right? So in old days, like in back in, I would say like in 90s, 90s and even before, probably in the 80s, they were using this mechanism for a clock. I thought they were using it for motors. No, not for motors, but for, uh, you know, the uh, wall clock, they used to have a big one. And then I have, remember we still have one. Yeah, the old one, yeah. So there was no battery back then. So they were using this and you had a key that every day you use that key to wind it, right? You keep doing it, keep doing it. And then it gets really straight and it had, it had a mechanism. So you would only let it go a little by little. So that the whole thing will last 24 hours, right? There was no battery, there's nothing else. And this is, this is it, you know, they didn't need anything else. Right? What if they accidentally do it like mm -hmm. um, way too much? Like way too less. Too less, then it's uh, it's gonna stop, you know. It's gonna stop in the middle of the day. Yeah. What <laughs> if it, then people will lose track? No, what they if? had another way to get uh, keep a track. Like they'll uh, use sun also. So if they uh, let's say if they you know the clock stop working, again at twelve o'clock they'll know that the sun is right in the middle in the top. They know it's 12 o'clock. They can use their, um, uh, what do you call it, shadow. They can use that to also figure it out. 
Okay. What if the um clock explodes? It doesn't explode because there is no battery. It's only this. If you do wear too much, if you put too much, then it will break. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, like you'll break, and then you you have to go to uh, some specialists who know know how to open it and how to put it back. All right. All right. Anything else you want to know from here? Nope. I think you got that. You you learned about the speaker, right? This is it. It's a different. Oh yeah. One more thing about speaker. Mm -hmm. Can we break those two green wires and connect it to the um giant speaker like we do it did with the cassette player? You can, but remember what we learned that see in inside the copper cable, the coil, it's, right? The coil, it's really tiny. So if you connect to giant speaker, it's okay. not gonna be loud music. It's gonna be yeah. really, really tiny music. Yeah, like you right? couldn't even look, like barely. And here, let, let's here, see, here. let's see what is this? Where's the? Give me the screwdriver. Okay, right here. Right? Uh, tip of the screwdriver, right? What is this? Magnet. Magnet. What we learn? Magnet and coil. Coil does what? Oh, um, makes uh, like the uh, sound, right? Bass. Vibration. Now, see the uh, last time we we learned that it was the black, um, the vibration thing, right? Um, this one is, is the plastic because it doesn't require bass or anything. It's just a really tiny like uh, sound. Sound. Yep. All right, so that's how it works. That's why car was moving without a uh, lot of batteries. And just so you know, mm -hmm. our cars actually light green. Some cars, mm -hmm. and are some cars also like have it have these stuff. Oh, nice! I like that. Lamborghini is cool, right? Mm -hmm. They go yeah. pretty fast. Yeah. I like Porsches better. Yeah. What's yours? Favorite um brand? Mine is um. I keep forgetting. Okay, next time you can tell me. All right. Chevrolet. Chevrolet? Okay, good. Yours? Uh, I like Ferrari too, and I like uh, Honda as well. And you also well, you like... Have to pick one. I also like Lamborghini. You have Lamborghini. to pick one. <laughs> All right, guys. So, you learned something new today? Again. For right. sure. Okay, all right.